This is Ableton Certified Dubspot Instructor Thavius Beck, yet another edition of Did You Know? Most of you already realize that you can use your computer keyboard and key map certain keys to different parameters within Live. But did you know that you can key map not only lowercase letters but capital letters as well? Which means that each letter can have two different assignments. Let's explore this. I've got a track here, very, very bare bones track that I just started messing around with called Run That. And I'm going to play this. So on this first track, I have these claps here. I have some different clips from a song. Okay. And I have a filter delay on my A return. So if I turn on my A send, okay, I can get that to happen. So let's assume I don't have a MIDI controller and you know, I wanna be able to play around, explore, mess around with some different ways to, I don't know, feel comfortable with this so it's not just a loop. You know, I wanna be able to actually play the ideas that I have. So let's start key mapping some stuff, all right? First thing I wanna do is, if I look right here, I can see my computer keyboard icon is on. This would allow me to use my computer keyboard like a MIDI keyboard, where I'm actually playing, you know, and sending MIDI note data. And that's not what I want to do right now. So first thing I need to do is make sure that that is not enabled. All right. Now what I want to do is I want to start key mapping some stuff. So I'm going to hit key. Okay. Now right now I don't have caps lock on, so anything I key map is going to be lowercase. So I want to key map these four clips so I can bounce between them. All right. Let's see, I'll make that A, I'll make that S, and I'll make that D, and I'll make that F, all right? And I think what would actually be really cool is to make it so that I can turn up the A send on the first audio track using a capital letter, and then turn up the A send on the second track using that same letter but lowercase, okay? So let's do that, I'm gonna use Z, uh, here, okay, and we're gonna make this a capital Z. So I'm gonna use my cap lock, hit Z, and now if you see, that's a capital Z, okay, key Z, all right? So now I'm gonna go to this send here, I'm gonna turn caps lock off, and I'm gonna hit Z, and now you can see, all right, that's a lowercase Z, see, two different Zs, okay? Now normally you wouldn't be able to map the same letter to two different parameters, all right? But in this case we can because one's uppercase, one's lowercase. So let's Turn off our key mapping, and let's mess around with this a bit. I'm just gonna start. Okay, so right now if I hit Z, okay, it's a lowercase Z. If I turn on my caps lock, okay, so with the same letter, I'm gonna to control two different parameters. So pretty neat feature. Again, something that not many people know about. Um, your usage with it, you know, will vary. But the fact that you can do this, if you don't have a MIDI controller, it just gives you that many more options. Uh, all those letters, all 26 of them, now you've got 52 different ways to control live with your computer keyboard. So on that note, this has been Ableton Certified Dubspot Instructor, Fabius Beck, signing off. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, Dubspot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore Dubspot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.